Hello learners, this is Sean from the Kinnaker Education Team. Today we're going to talk about rain and how we get it from the water cycle. First we're going to talk a little bit about what the water cycle is, and then we're going to do an activity to create our own rain cloud inside our own house. The water cycle is where the sun comes out and it causes the temperature and water to rise. When that temperature rises, whether it's in a river, a lake, or an ocean, it evaporates into the sky and it goes up into the clouds. When the clouds get enough water inside of them, it causes it to condense and cause what's called precipitation, which is rain or snow or sleet. So precipitation is just a fancy word that means anytime water falls from the sky down to the earth. That's when we get our cloud from our white cloud into the dark gray rainy cloud, and then we get rainfall. So anytime the water goes up and creates a very full cloud, it's going to fall down in the form of rain, snow, or sleet, depending on what the temperature is in the environment around it. For today's activity, we're going to create our own rain cloud in the house. You're going to need a few different supplies. Some of them are a little bit flexible. So the first things we're going to need is we're going to need to have either a spoon or a pipette or an eyedropper. I don't have one of those, so I'm going to use a spoon. It works just right, fine. I'm going to use a marker just to kind of mark where the cloud is represented, but that's not a necessary piece. You'll need one to two towels, depending on how thick your towel is. I have really thick, do uh, heavy-duty towels, so I'm going to just use one paper towel. But if you have thin slits or they're fairly thin, you'll want to use two. I'm using food coloring to be able to show my rain. You can just use plain water. You can use a different color food coloring, but this is gonna make it a little bit easier to see in the video. And then you'll need like a rubber band or a hair tie or some tape to be able to attach your paper towel to a cup. The other items you're gonna need is a clear plastic, or if you have a family member or parent near you that can help watch, a glass jar that's clear, just so you can see the inside. You don't want any things that you can't see through because otherwise you won't see the rain. And then you'll want to have a container of water, which we will mix the food coloring into. So we're going to combine our water and our food coloring so it's easier to see. I've already done that, so that way it's ready to go. So I have some blue water that's going to show up a little bit easier on the video. If you don't have food coloring, again, you don't need to do that. You're going to want to take the paper towel and you're going to want to fold it into fourths, just so that way it's about the same size as the lid of your cup. All right, it can be a little bit bigger. I'm then gonna go ahead and take this paper towel and set it on top of the container. And it actually makes it a little bit easier if you push the inside of the paper towel in a little bit. So it almost like you make a little mini cup out of your paper towel or a little bowl. And then fold the rest of the paper towel around the cup. And then you're gonna use rubber bands or tape to hold that paper towel in place. So now I have my container and the paper towel is going to be my cloud. So I'm going to make sure that whenever I do the activity, I want to put the water that's going to be my rain directly into this hole or this space I made. That little blue dot's going to be my, paper, my cloud. And that's going to be where the water goes to do the activity. So all we're going to do from here is you're going to take your water, whether you have an eyedropper or just a spoon, and you're going to slowly add it into that bowl that you made out of the paper towel to create your rain cloud. All right, so since I don't have an eyedropper or pipette, I'm going to use my spoon, and I'm going to just slowly add water to the top of the cloud, and the towel is going to start absorbing the water. And I want to make sure that it's fully absorbed before I try to add any more. So I'm going to wait, let it absorb, and then add more. 